Hi guys, thank you very much for talking to us today. How you doing? Thank um, you. Lovely to see you. Um, and I saw the film earlier this week, it was absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Yay, good. How did you channel your inner zombie to become R? Uh, I, I, I don't know, we kind of, um, I just walked a little bit slower, looked a, a little bit more gormless than I actually am. <laughs> Had my mouth, wore contact lenses, a lot of makeup, and and um, just shuffled around a little bit, um, groaning. It was good, I, you know, not a lot of dialogue to learn. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, perfect. Well. <laughs> and Tuzi, you've obviously done some other kick-ass roles. Have you um, had special training on how to kick a zombie's backside? Not a zombie in particular, but <laughs> um, I did do a bunch of training for one of my other movies and I learned martial arts and I learned how to shoot a gun and... Um, I didn't learn how to work with a knife and we were just talking about how I, I stab him in the movie. I throw a knife at his chest and yeah. that was really fun. Yeah. Just throw a knife at me. I eat her boyfriend's good. brains and then and then and then we I like each other. About that. Then I you get do, over it. You do a good clothesline to one of the zombies as well. I do, yeah. Swing around, do a good old clothesline. It was fun. It was impressive. Yeah, I, I love like being the action girl. Yeah. Million dollar question: Would you rather be a zombie who can fall in love, or a human who can only eat brains? What sort of brains? Sheep's brains? Is it human brains? You can pick sheep's brains, brains is quite a normal thing. My grandparents used to eat sheep's brains on toast. You know what? I'm going to go with human who can eat brains because you didn't specify what sort of brain. So it could be like lollipop brains. You know those little lollies that you can get, the shape of brains. Ah, oh, nice there you way go. That little one. loophole. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I'd. I'd yeah, I'll eat the brains. Oh, we've just been eating uh, brain sweets out in the... Have you? Good, there Are there, you brain, go. Sweet? Are there brain sweets here? Yeah. Amazing. What are we doing? Let's bring some in here. <laughs> <laughs> now, if a virus devastated civilization, civilization today, who would you like to have left behind? If you could have five people, who would you have with in you? In the world, anyone? Anybody in the world. Warren Beatty, Kid Cuddy. Kid Cuddy. I was saying Jamie Oliver because... Jamie Oliver. He yeah. would cook me some awesome food, which you need. Um, we said Angeline Jolie because she's hot and she can fight. Um, I'd like to have a writer as well. I'd like to have maybe J.K. Rowling a or someone. Writer? Yeah, what just for? some. Well, because just you know, to write her stuff and read. Once, once you've once you've survived the post apocalypse, apocalypse or whatever, then you then you'd be a bit bored and you'd have well, to create new entertainment. Not that. So okay, that's true. And one very last question: Do you think you can fall in love with a zombie? Yeah, I feel like I've fallen in love with a couple of zombies in my lifetime, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> yeah, obviously. 